All right, here's another one of my um, more interesting projects that I wanted to report on. Uh, that clock right there is running on uh, the first cement battery that I made, and uh, this is going on five months. And I've been holding off, holding off, holding off just to see if uh, I was seeing things or, you know, my theory on this was right or wrong, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about this. I don't think this is galvanic, and this is going to cause a lot of controversy when I post this video, but that clock right there acts like an ammeter, and when it gets late in the day and in the evening, that will go dimmer, and then during the day in the morning when the sun hits it, because this is usually on the windowsill, that will get brighter and brighter, and I initially thought that this was heat. And when John Bedini was involved in that, this project, he thought the same thing, that this was a heat-activated thing. But I really don't think so. I think it has something to do with uh, solar energy, to be, to be honest. And, you know, this thing here that I've been working on, this dynamo that runs on this uh, ambient solar energy. And we're not in the sun here. This is inside the house. It's just a uh, light coming through the window, uh, not indirect light. But that thing there, as it receives sun on a sunny day, like I say, it's normally in the windowsill, that will get brighter and brighter. And it'll stay that way through the day as the sun passes over the house. And then through the evening, that'll get dimmer and dimmer. And we're in the summertime now where it doesn't get that cold at night. It's, uh, it's not, the temperature's not ranging that far anymore. And like I say, this is going on five months. And the substance in that was beach sand, the local beach, and quickcrete, which is Portland cement mixed with some kind of a sand. And that's all it was. It's an aluminum can with a piece of copper wire in the middle. And when I first built it, of course, it was galvanic purely. But at five months, granted, there might be some moisture locked up in that, but it's this getting brighter and dimmer during the day when this gets direct sunlight and absorbs that energy somehow that I wanted to report on. And I don't know if anybody else has seen this happen or not, but we're at five months now, folks, and that's still running. And it's the fact that it, it gets brighter and dimmer depending on how much solar energy that absorbs. And I really don't think it has anything to do with heat. It's some sort of radiation that's causing that to happen. So anyway, I just wanted to report on that and post this um, for other people to investigate. Thanks for watching.